everybody and welcome to another video oh my goodness it has been so long since I've done a talking video and I have literally missed it so much so I'm a little bit hypo because I'm also very very nervous to film this video but here I am and I'm doing a Q&A video so I posted a photo on Instagram a couple of days ago asking you what questions you have to ask me to answer in this video so here I am answering your questions. I've got them all here. So this is the photo that I uploaded. It's actually, it's of some juice that I had in Bali last year. And I thought it was really pretty and I never put it up. So I'm just gonna go through them. No particular order, just answer them. Um, there are a few questions in there that have been um, repeated a lot. So I was thinking I might do a video on that specific topic and it's, mostly about my weight loss and how I've maintained my weight over the past, you know, three years being vegan. The majority of the questions were about that. And I thought the best way to answer it in detail is to make a video about it. So I'm rambling about this one question where I haven't even answered any of the other ones, which is the whole point of this video. So yeah, before I get started, everybody say hello to Rocco because he's my little mascot sitting beside me. Say hello. Hey, gorgeous. So anyways, let's get to the questions. All right. First question is from Kathy Ann T. Do you find that you don't go to some social gatherings because of your lifestyle choice? I used to in the beginning, I used to be terrified going out, especially with my friends because I was vegan and I was afraid to, you know, sorry, I've got cat hair on my face. I was afraid to tell people that. I was afraid that my friends would judge me and that I'd feel left out, that there'd be no food for me at a restaurant in particular. And there were a few occasions where my friends, you know, went to places that had no vegan options. Like, you know, they didn't even go to a, you know, Chinese, Thai, Indian kind of restaurant where you can usually find a vegan. Uh, meal it would always be like a pub and here in Australia pubs are usually like steak chips and Parmigianas not that you know chips are vegan, but do you know what I mean as I became more confident within myself and Really believed in the vegan message. I just didn't care anymore. I was like, you know what? I want to be around my friends I want to go to as many barbecues parties restaurants with my non-vegan friends so they can see that being vegan means you can still have a social life and go out and still eat awesome food, you know? And if, even if there wasn't stuff out, I would, you know, call the restaurant in advance and ask them that I, if they had anything they could make for me, or I would bring my own food or eat beforehand. And yeah, I just made it work. So it's all about being confident and showing your friends and family in particular that you can have awesome food and still have a social life being vegan. Um, this is from vegan Zoe Jessica nice cream or oatmeal. Oh, I like both but probably oats This is from Isadora music. Hey first off. I love your Instagram and channel secondly My question is have you had any deficiencies at all on a vegan diet? I've been vegan for a year now and I want to know how to make sure I don't get deficient especially in iron and calcium So I recently had blood tests done about three months ago and all of my blood tests were perfect my b12 iron magnesium calcium my liver function, my thyroid, my hormones, everything was fine. And I think it is because I do take some supplements and I will do a video on supplements in gen like on a separate occasion because otherwise I'll be here forever. But the one number one thing is if you are eating enough calories a day from plant foods, then you are getting enough. There's just a few odd ones that um, I think you need to be more wary of and perhaps incorporate a supplement so i take a vital greens powder which i think helps that part and it covers calcium and all that and iron and i definitely take a b12 supplement that's just a given being vegan so i take a spray and i think my b12 levels were like 1200 i think here in australia the limit is 600 they it's between 150 and 600 mine was double and that was all because of the supplement and it didn't affect me in any way and the doctor said that's fine and i went off it for 10 days and after that 10 days i was retested again and my blood my bloods were still 600 of b12 and it was perfect like honestly they're the two things i think you know greens like a greens powder and um, B12 and I think you'll be fine but yeah I'll talk about supplements in another video just make sure you're eating enough and that you know that's what I vouch for just eat enough calories and you'll be set this is from Camilla Magotti are you working now and have you planned any travel so yes I am working now and I feel like is there hair on this screen no sorry 
yeah, so I am working now. I'm working as a, as a practice nurse at a doctor's surgery here in town, and I absolutely love it. I love the people that I work with, and I'm good at my job, and I love the patients, and it's just incredible. And I'm also working as a health coach still. I don't have many clients because I did take a break from it, so I will be getting back into that soon. But just at the moment, I'm just taking it easy and, and only seeing one or two people at a time because it did get a bit full on there when I was seeing about 10 clients and it was just like, oh my goodness, I couldn't handle it. And I don't think I could give people the best kind of coaching when I wasn't right myself, if that makes sense. So I'm still gonna ease back into it once I get a routine going. That's what I'm doing to work. And have I planned travel? Yes. Bo and I are going overseas in April. We are going to New Zealand. We're gonna do the South Island for two weeks in April. So stay tuned for all the vlogs because I can't wait. We've got to get it. We've got a camper van and we're gonna just drive around South Island and just do hikes and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, that's our travel. Nothing big, just a little holiday look forward to while we're working and all that. This is from Victoria Siegel. I have a couple of questions, lol, that's okay. Um, first one is, do you miss being in Thailand? No, I miss being able to sleep in all the time when I want to. I miss, you know, the food, the affordable food and being in another country, but I love home. I love Australia and I think living in Thailand really made me realize that Australia is awesome. Um, and the second is, what camera do you use to vlog? I use a Canon G7X like every single vlogger does. So. That's it, basic, affordable camera. This is from Chels Walsh 99 How do you keep negative thoughts from stopping you to achieve what you want in life? Negative thoughts are seriously the hardest things to deal with in life because literally, as soon as we let our guard down, they overtake us because we become so vulnerable and our mind literally just takes over and it's really hard to fight them, especially if you're in a, a down kind of place. Like if you've been stressed out, you're not taking care of yourself, then these negative thoughts can overtake you and overpower you. But I think the best way to handle them and to stop them from getting into your life and overtaking your life and stopping you from achieving your dreams is to keep focused on your goal and self-love and make sure you're taking care of yourself and also replacing a negative thought with something positive. So when a negative thought comes into your head, immediately switch it around and think of something positive. Like for example, oh, I feel so ugly today. You know what, switch around and be like, no, I look awesome. Not that that's like the best example, but do you know what I mean? Like you can easily switch around a negative thought. I have one today. I was like, you know what? I feel so crappy. I don't want to go to yoga. What's the point of going? I'm not getting any better. And then you know what I did? I was like, hang on, wait a minute. I am getting better because look at this. I can do this whole, this pose. I can do this. I can do that. I've improved so much. I feel better. What am I talking about? Like you literally, as soon as you like hear or see or feel that negative thought, literally just switch it around. That's my best advice because only you can stop you from achieving what you want, if that makes sense. So you have the power and the choice to be the best version of yourself. This is from Franny W. What do you and Bo take with you to work? I assume that's for food. So we literally take really basic food and I'm going to do a, a video of like what I eat taking like going to work and what my usual work day is because I've been doing vlogs usually on my days off or on the weekends like my what I eat in a day vlog so I'm going to do one for work but usually it's like you know simple breakfast take leftovers for lunch some fruit some snacks and yeah I'll show you I'll make a video remind me Christy Chu any advice on getting better sleep I keep waking up during the middle of the night and not being able to get back to sleep help okay so I used to be a terrible sleeper I used to have to take like melatonin tablets because I never used to be able to sleep I used to take you know over-the-counter medications I used to take antidepressants to help me get to sleep because I just never could sleep and I'd always wake up during the night but what I found is being more positive and happy I just fall asleep really easily and I did read this quote once saying only happy people sleep so I feel like working on yourself and your inner happiness is what really will help you sleep at night and also meditation and yoga or something before bed and like having a nighttime routine, an evening routine really helps you get that settle, settle meant at night before you sleep like just think about it like babies have a routine to help them get to sleep and i feel like we do too we're spending so much time on our phones before bed watching tv before bed um stressing you out the next day you literally i feel like tv and phones and stuff should be a deadline before bed literally stop them at 8 30 at night okay then for the next hour have you time so meditate do yoga read journal whatever have a bath just stay off the TV or the phone because the lights can actually decrease your like melatonin releasing. And also have an, a nighttime routine. What was I going to say? I could, 
Oh my gosh, I've completely just had a mental blank. Yeah, and about stressing about the next day, there's nothing you can do about it until the next day. So why not just live in the now and enjoy the present? So that's how you can get better sleep. <laughs> this is from Jenna Yanka. I think I said it right. Jenna Yanka. Do you have any tips on maintaining, maintaining balance while traveling or at least eating right and exercising while you're in a different place? When I was traveling, I really didn't care what I was eating as long as it was vegan. And I knew that you can't always control everything when you're traveling. And I feel like when you want to control everything, you're not really enjoying every, all the moments and taking it all in if you're worrying about what you're gonna eat. Um, there were days in India where we were traveling all day on a train and all we could eat was chips, potato chips in a bag. And that was fine. And the next day we made up for it and just had fruit smoothies. You can never control anything. But while traveling, we literally walked everywhere. We did not take any public transport if it was within 10 kilometers, 15 kilometers, because we would just walk there. But it was long, you know, long hauls, like an overnight train or a day train or something to get to a different town or, you know, country, then that's different. But in a city or somewhere small town, we would hire a bike, walk, run, and yeah, we just, yeah, enjoyed it and just walked everywhere. The, you see the best things when you do that. Oh, Bo's brother just got here, so I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below, and I'll reply as soon as possible. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and check out my blog for my ebook. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.